Lancashire boiler is a horizontal stationary fire tube boiler. This boiler was invented by Sir William Fairbairn in the year 1844. It is a fire tube boiler unlike Babcock and Wilcox boiler which is a water tube boiler. In fire tube boilers, the flue gases flow through the tube and heats up the water around the tube. Low pressure steam of about 14 bar can be generated through this boiler. Now, let us see the construction of this iconic boiler. The first part is a water drum. The diameter of the drum is about 4 to 6 meter and length is around 9 to 10 meter. The next part we assemble are the fire tubes. We have two fire tubes of diameter up to 40% of the diameter of the drum. These tubes have fire furnace grates at the front end where we burn the coal to produce the flue gases. This drum setup is kept on iron girders to allow it to expand due to heat. And finally, the setup is enclosed by brickwork to give the stability and structure to the boiler. This brickwork is designed in such a way that some narrow space is left underneath the surface of the boiler shell or drum. This is called as bottom channel. We also have two side channels running through the length of the boiler shell on either side. These channels lead to a chimney which takes out the used flue gases. Along with these core parts, we have few mountings and axeries. At first, we have water level indicator which helps us in knowing the level of water inside the boiler shell. Then we have pressure gauge which helps us in knowing the steam pressure inside the boiler shell. We also have feed check valve. And then we have steam stop valve to take out the steam generated in the boiler. On top we have safety valve which makes sure that the steam is released when it is under very high pressure and to make sure boiler doesn't explode due to high pressure steam. This is the construction of Lancashire boiler. To sum up, we learned that Lancashire boiler is a fire tube boiler. It produces low pressure steam. Water surrounds the fire tubes and brickwork has bottom channel and side channel. In the next video, we learn about the working of this boiler and how we will produce steam. See you there.